Welcome to Kini Talk. I'm Sunisha Naidu, and today we're joined by Shen Yi Ang, the president of NGO Kami Sangi Salangal and the Malaysian Youth Rights Movement. He's also the man at the center of this clip that's been making the round on social media. <laughs> Saya rasa kita kena Beliau tidak lain, tidak bukan Tadi sudah ada orang yang tersebut Cuma tidak cukup kuat Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim <coughs> Yang Anwar ini Melayu sendiri jerit Nak hapuskan ketua dan Melayu Ini kan Melayu yang penduduk Melayu di Malaysia Hendak beliau jadi Perdana Menteri Negara Malaysia Adakah Anwar layak menjadi Perdana Menteri Malaysia Seorang Melayu Bangsa Melayu Darah Melayu Nak hapuskan all right, now before we get started, I understand you had some reservations about appearing on a Kini talk about appearing with Malaysia Kini. I just want to clarify there will be no spinning of what you say and uh, everything will be direct. I understand. All right. No problem. Okay, so let's, uh, let's first clarify what is your current political affiliation? Are you an MCA member? I'm not an MCA member. It's a great accusation and I do not know why uh, it has been going around an MCA member. But I am personally myself, I'm an MCA supporter. You're an MCA supporter. Yes. Now you once stated on your blog that you were with the communications unit of MCA. Is that still true? Which one? Uh, it's been mentioned that on your blog you no, stated. No, those are those. They are those is where they hack into my blog and they spin. I can give you an example how when and where my email, my Facebook and my blog get hacked many many times. I can show you all that. So you've never worked for MCA. I never worked for MCA. And are you being paid by MCA at the no. moment to do what you do? No, not at all. No, no. So this is purely everything that you're doing now is by your own volition. Which one? Everything that you've been doing now. By is my own NGO, yes, my own committee, my own strength, my oh. own capacity. All right. Now, the, the reason why we ask also about you being whether you are on MCA's payroll is because there seems to be a lot of inconsistencies in your political uh, record in okay. the affiliations. I understand in university there was a bit of changing about, and you were at one point with DAP. In fact, I think uh, we have an article of you talking about how great DAP's leaders are. I don't know if we have the article on us at the moment. Yeah, you were asking who's the best candidate to lead DAP Salango. The beauty about DAP is that we've got too many great leaders in the party. Now, that, that was a few years ago. Have things changed since then? All right, you see, uh, this is a very subjective question. Okay, that was back then when I said that there are many great leaders in DAP, but that do not mean that they are always right. When I said they are right, they are right. And now when I say they are wrong, how can people say that they are not wrong? That's the problem with Malaysians. So you see, you see. So if you want to say my stand is DAP leaders are still great, my stand is always simple. There are great leaders in DAP, there are great leaders in Barisan National. There are weak leaders in DAP, there are weak leaders in Barisan National. They are, they are all humans, we are all politicians. Both sides have good and bad people. So but, it, but you so were a DAP supporter though. I'm not only a supporter, you I was their member, I'm also their former youth chief. Then what happened? Sorry? What happened? I stopped to believe in their struggle. And I think you, you I, I was reading your blog and you said, you saw, you saw the devil in the opposition. Now, can you please clarify that? What, what did you see that made you so... Okay, the devil in opposition is... Because the opposition today is very different from before March 2. Eh? You see, back then they were way, way much more united. Back then they are, they, they are clean. Back then, whatever they are fighting for is... Uh, I can say it is a very pure. But after March 2, eh, you can see... <coughs> I just quote you a, very, a few more different examples. Okay? You can see that even corruption started to happen uh, between Pakatan Rakyat. Although now at smaller scale, but that do not deny that they are, they are, they are devil. You also can see that Pakatan Rakyat uh, cannot, how I say, it? I just written an article, uh, you know, the hypocrisy of Pakatan Rakyat in terms of democracy and freedom. Mm -hmm. They are always shouting of freedom of protesting, the rights to assembly, you know, the right to submit a memorandum. But when I submitted my memorandum, uh, to, uh, what do you call it? to the pinning chief minister, about, I think last Friday, and also secretary general of the AP, I get blasted like hell. And the same problem, or the same reason that they 
uh, accuse me and attack me, it's the same problem that, what, that we Malaysian are talking about. They're they talking about traffic jams, they're talking about violence, they're talking about not our culture. I'm talking about not, I'm not from Penang, as if DP Limone is from Penang. So the things they say, actually, they're slapping back at their own face, you see? No, but, and you're saying that in MCA, in Barisa National, you don't have any of these problems. How is it better no, than the No, it, it still have all these problems. Okay. I mean, for me, because I'm NGO, I, but personally, I told you, I, I'm an MCA supporter. So although yeah. I'm NGO, I support the MCA. That's my stand. I won't, I won't, I won't act like Wong Tak or Ambiga, that one, I'm, I'm, I'm neutral, I'm neutral. No. Okay, I'm, I'm pro MCA, but I'm not MCA member yet. Why not? Okay. Why not? I haven't decided. I haven't decided my politics struggle. The moment I quit DAP, I then won't join any single political party at, any single political party until now. You see, I still want to keep to my NGO base. And whether will I join MCA, Gerakan, PPP, or any other political party in the future, that is uh, still yet to be known. So, do you plan on becoming a politician at some point? No. No. Not not for now. Not for now. Okay, well, let's talk a bit about the clip that's gotten everyone riled up. You seem to be saying the opposition should not be voted in because they will abolish Ketuanan Melayu. Is that true? Now, wh why do you think Malay special rights are still important? Okay, no. Okay, this one, luckily, you gave me a chance to clarify. Okay. Thank you very much, Malaysia Kini. Uh, I already posted my whole original video in my page, SYA for the Nation Facebook page. That whole video was being edited. You can you all can modify the original video and which part is being edited. Okay? They they just cut the part I said before I go to Anwar. I said sebagai seorang Cina memang saya menentang Ketanah Melayu. They cut that part. I can show you the whole original video. The whole video was being manipulated. This is how dirty those cyber troopers are. So when then it goes to Anwar's. Okay? Yep. Where they said that Anwar seorang Melayu nak hapuskan Melayu. Then the th last part before end of this thing, I did say Anwar want to replace with Ketanah Rakyat. But, should, but even that, he had cheated all the Malays, Indian and Chinese. I did mention in that whole speech. But why do you need to cut the middle part? I can show you the whole video. You can go to my Facebook SYO for the Nation page. So clarify first, then what is your stand on it? So you're saying oh. that... I'm saying that personally, uh, I'm against Ketuanan Melayu. Okay? And I support something which is something real for Malaysia. And Anwar do not have credibility to, to even shout Ketuanan Melayu or not Melayu because he was the one that suggested Ketuanan Melayu shouted, shouted the loudest and now he wants to abolish it, abolish it. Exactly like PTPT and he was the one who founded it and now he wants to abolish it. So what credibility do we have? That is why people had cut and edited my speech and it went so viral. It's very irresponsible. And who has cut and edited your speech? DP Cyber Troopers. Who else? And how, okay, how are you so sure it's Cyber Troopers and not? I'm very sure. I can have a f I got a few uh, personal message that DAP is giving instructions. Mm -hmm. I cannot show here. I can show you all personally, all right, to attack me. Okay, and I also you can track back all the Chinese political pages. I think fifty to hundred is actually owned by DAP. Every day working government. If it's not their pages, then whose pages? All right. Then we even track back to the extreme. I did a lot of details. I cannot expose too much here. I think DAP got a secret cyber troopers team called the Red Bean Red Bean Army. We have people inside their group, we know what they are doing, we know what they are discussing. I don't want to expose them now. I will call for a press conference, I will show more details and also more evidence. I think maybe next week. Alright, so you are saying you don't support Ketuanan Melayu? No, and they cut it. They cut right. part. So what, what do you res what's your response to the comments? And a lot of people are very angry about that. And someone, uh, I think there's been some comments that say that you are Pukasa China. Or, so what's your response to all this hate, uh, this vitriol in the comments that you've been receiving? Okay, I take it very positively. Okay, because for me, I know I'm in politics since I'm very young. In fact, not only 19, in fact, since 15, 16, I've been joining forums. I'm in politics since I'm 15, 16, yes, although during my high school time. So this is part and parcel of politics. And those comments are not really affected because I knew we are in politics. Whether you can differentiate those comments are real or not real. I won't deny that there are neutral and uh, that also there are also ordinary Malaysians who are really angry about that. But I can say easily 60 to 70 percent are all cyber troopers. You verify the account, are they real accounts or not? We in political world, we know. We know how cyber troopers operate. We know how fake accounts operate. We know how one person holding 10 accounts and comment things. But so it seems like a lot. It seems like viral. You know, it's planned to go viral. But you know, obviously, huh? uh, you, you say it's just cyber troopers, but why, why can't it just be people who actually feel this way and people who strongly believe in those things? And, and okay. why does it have to be politically okay. motivated? That, that is why I said I don't deny that they are they are normal ordinary Malaysians. But I, I cannot blame them, it's because they are being manipulated by cyber troopers who edited my speech. I have told you that my original video wasn't that. Every single thing in that video is being But what cut. would people gain from editing that video to be so bad? They what what did they gain against you? They tried you? to discredit me, discredit me right after I submit my memorandum to Lim Guan Eng. Okay, so you're saying it's linked to that? Yes. 
Why what, what happened after after that? I remember I walk against them against my block. And in this whole war, I lose or win, I got them to lose. I'm not a candidate. I won't be contesting. I'm not a member of any political party. I'm just fighting for my political rights. Okay. Now let's talk about the second clip here. If we could just look at the Dong Zhong clip at the moment. Saya nak tanya masyarakat Malaysia kat sini satu soalan. Adakah NGO Dong Zhong itu bertindak pegawai atau tidak? Dong Zhong itu racist atau tidak? Racist kan? Saya seorang Cina pun rasa Dong Zhong ini terlalu bertindak pegawai. Cina pun benci pada Dong Zhong. Jujur. Ketika orang Melayu Masyarakat Melayu menggalakkan orang Cina untuk belajar bahasa Melayu. Pertubuhan Dong Zhong ini pula hendak menyehatkan bahasa Cina daripada dia belajar di daripada orang Melayu. Antara memorandumnya guru-guru Melayu tidak boleh mengajar di sekolah Cina. Dan di sekolah Malaysia siapa? Dalam Rally 926, Protes 926, pemimpin-pemimpin PKR, Uzia Saleh, Ken Chua, Saifudun Nasution, Anwar sendiri menyokong perjuangan Tok Tok. Adakah pemimpin yang ini kita hentakkan? Adakah pemimpin ini yang masyarakat satu Malaysia kita kira Melayu, Cina, India? Hendak kita pilih untuk menjadi kesempatan kita. Okay, now that clip right there, was that also edited? This script is not addicted. So that's what that is your stand. You that believe that stand. you believe that Dong Zhong is a racist yes, institution. That's my stand. Now I understand that the Prime Minister is meeting with Dong Zhong tomorrow, and that a number of politicians from from the government side have also, you know, uh, met with them. And MCA itself is helping Chinese schools to get more Chinese teachers. Now, how does this? If you're a supporter of MCA, how do you believe that okay. this group is racist? You see, MCA role to help to get more Chinese teacher. Mm -hmm. It's different from restricting Malays to teach in Chinese school. It's two different issues. So Re your issues with restricting because, Malays because from teaching? Why, why MCA is getting more Chinese to, to, to teach in Chinese school? Because we are lacking of teachers. But the MCA never restrict Malays or any other races. If they are good and they are fluent in Mandarin, why not they teach? Okay, wait, wait, so what, let's just clarify. What is your issue uh, with Dong Zhong? There's no issue with Dong Zhong. It's just a speech. It's just my, my personal stand. If there is Malay who thinks that Pakasa is racist, if there are Indians who think that Hindu is racist, why not as a Chinese I think that Dong Zhong is racist? Why, why, why is racist where they only restrict Chinese school, only Chinese school teacher can teach Chinese students? Why can't there be Malay teachers who, who can teach Chinese? So your issue uh, is with the, the, yeah. the ethnicity of the teachers? Yes, that is why. That is my, my video, exactly. So I don't, I don't think what is, what, what is issue is that. Because previously I was a tutor for eight years. I, as a Chinese, I teach, I teach Malay language. So what's wrong with that? I've been teaching Malay language for about the past eight years during my, my part-time tutor. As a part-time, as a tutor, you see. So what's wrong uh, if you have a good Malays uh, who are fluent in Mandarin, which there are many nowadays because there are Malay, many Malays who are nowadays uh, in uh, graduate from Chinese school, right? To teach in Chinese school, why should we restrict them? Is but are you a supporter of Chinese vernacular education? You should. Are you, are you Do you support Chinese language medium education? Um, yeah, I do. Although I'm not I'm from Chinese school, I'm pure, I'm pure banana and that's it. Banana means I don't know Mandarin. So you're from a Chinese school? No, I'm you're not purely from a Malay school. So but I support, I support the freedom of Chinese school to operate in Malaysia. Okay, so you support that freedom, yes. but you have an issue with just restricting language instruction by, purely, by only Chinese teachers. That's your problem? Yes, correct. So even though the, Najib, the Prime Minister Najib is meeting with them and that MCA has also supported the Chinese medium instruction schools, you, your issue is no, still... No, it, it doesn't contradict with Najib or also... You see, the whole issue it doesn't contradict with Najib or MCA. You see, Najib and MCA meeting with Don Zong, it ha doesn't have to do whether Don Zong is racist or not racist. Mm -hmm. As I said, MCA is trying to recruit more Chinese school teachers because we are lacking on Chinese school teachers. But MCA at the same time did not restrict other races, whether it's Indian, Malay, or any other races to teach in Chinese school. Which Don Zong claimed that only Chinese can teach in Chinese school. This is a very different entirely thing. This, this, this tent and memorandum is very racist. I look at it where it's very racial. How come only Chinese can teach Chinese? You know what I mean? Okay. Um, now, let's just go back a bit to what you were saying earlier about Ketuan and Melayu. You said you don't support that. So what do you take on MCA? What is your opinion on how, what MCA's take on this whole issue is? You sure? MCA, their position I on Malay Special Rights. I cannot represent MCA. You cannot, but you believe, the, but you believe in MCA's I, I, uh, I'm not, ideologies. I'm not anybody from MCA. I'm speaking on NGO behalf. So as, I a cannot, supporter, I, I as a supporter of MCA, MCA, as a supporter of MCA, what do you think of their position on Malay Special Rights? Mm, so far, I've got no idea. So far, I have no idea. You have to ask any MC leader what do they think of Malay Special. No, no, I'm not asking you what they, uh, what their position is. I'm asking what you think 
of their of their position on Malay special rights as a supporter, as a voter, what do you think? I'm not sure. You're not sure? I'm not sure. I'm so if they contradict if 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 they contradict your beliefs, isn't that a isn't that a problem as a person who's voting? Like if MCA says yes, I am all for Ketuan and Melayu and you don't believe in that, isn't that an issue? It depends. Because if it comes into voting there's a lot of factor. Okay, whether it's one individual, one political party. You see, it's impossible to have a perfect political party, be it from the okay, AP or MCA to fulfill uh, any of the voter wishes. So if let's say there are one or two values that clashes, but the rest is accommodating to what I'm believing, then I will still vote for them. But if there's too many clashes, it depends, as I said, it depends. You cannot take one issue. Mm -hmm. If you want to pick on just one issue, I can say that uh, every single voter, there's no not a single political party in, the, in Malaysia, they can vote. Because every single political party in Malaysia, they have the, their own ideologies and also their own flaws that there are people who cannot accept. Okay, let's talk about the flaws. You stated that you left the AP <coughs> because you wanted to change BN from within. I was reading your blog and you said that you were telling someone that one, what is the challenge of just being in the opposition when you can join the government and you want to change Barisan National from within. Now, what do you think needs changing in Barisan National? Oh, there's a lot. Hell, a lot of lots. Barisan National, as much as I back DAP, to be fair, there's a lot of things in Barisan National that we need to be changed or reformed. There's just too much. Example, they're extremely weak in social networking. <laughs> okay, extremely weak until I do not know what to say. Okay. okay. And uh, example, there are a lot of leaders who dare not stand up to speak up. You know, they dare not even dare to stand to speak up. You know, they, 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 then example, a lot of leaders are very passive in Barisan National. And example, uh, there are still a lot of warlock systems. There's there's just too many that we need to change, and impossible to change BN overnight. But I will continue to fight them. And sometimes there are certain crazy things will come up from BM that I fought against them. Example, when they give the five hundred dollars. I think the smartphone mm -hmm. uh, rebate, right? But only for phone. I think two hundred dollars. Sorry, be for phone below five hundred dollars. I I came out and take and whack them about it. It's ridiculous. In terms of principles so, and ideologies, is there anything that you do not agree with in terms of Barisan National? Uh, what can I think so far about Barisan National? In terms of ideology, I can accept the ideologies. It shouldn't be any problem. So that so you, so in terms of when you compare it to DAP, the reason why you left DAP. It's because you identified more with Barisan National's principles? Not really because of that. There are many reasons. They cannot have a fixed reason. Okay? I might have some personal issue. I don't, I don't want to be fake and just be real. I might have some personal issues with them. And also, uh, besides ideology, there are many things. But the most important is I tell you, DAP, Pakatan Rai have changed after much to it. People can see a lot. No, not only me today who are sp speaking for Barisan National. We ask a lot of neutral voters. Those who believe DAP has really changed after much to it. The things that they say is different. So you think they, they haven't been consistent they in what they are saying? Yeah, not, not only what they are saying, it's what they are fighting. And yet they can be so hypocrite in slapping back in their own, own face most of the time. You see, they accuse people for uh, corruption, and then when they have corruption, you know, they will come out and say, no, we're going to catch the bigger evil, you know, we are smaller, smaller corruption. No, this, all these are not good to defend yourself. You are the one who shouted for zero corruption. And then you shouted for, for, you are shouted for two party system. And then you all declare, you know, you want to have a zero zero government, you know, let MCA get zero, then what's two, what two party system are you talking about? You see, it's a lot of things they are contradicting among themselves. You see? Okay, so Mr. Shen, now what's next for you in terms of uh, SGE 13 approaches, what's next for you in terms of your involvement in the political scene? Now, at the moment, uh, uh, the most nearest now, actually today here, I'm not coming here to defend myself. For me, as I said, I'm get used to it. This is politics. If the way you want to edit my video and stuff like that is all about me, I can still accept it because this is part and parcel of politics. It's a tactical battle. It's a psychological warfare. So I can understand why they do that. But what I cannot accept is I do not know whether you all got checked or not. They even invade to my private life, you know. You know, more than t about 20 to 30 of my close friends, my friends, my sisters, my friends, um, easily all their pictures now are being circulated in the internet. If you want to harm me, please, up to you. You can harm me, you can take my life, you can do anything, you can say anything about me, it's okay. Anytime I'm willing to better we all in a proper way. You know, this is politics, I'm in, but do not drag people around me, it's very unfair. That's where my next move, I'm going to call for a press conference, I'm going to defend for all those girls, innocent victims, and people around me that they drag into politics and they're not in politics. This is very dirty. If there's anything against me, come to me. Don't go to people around me, this is way too dirty, this is much more dirty than any uh, po political, or they call it social. And, and you are blaming this on DAP cyber troopers, is that right? Supporters and troopers, yes, supporters it's their You don't think that Barisan National supporters and cyber troopers have equally dirty tactics? 
I do. What about Papa Gomo and Anwar Ibrahim? Okay, fair enough. I know you all will ask this question, you see, because I've been asked many times. Mm-hmm. I'm against both types of violence. I'm against both types of slandering. I'm against bo- both types of what we call that, uh, cyber, all these kind of shits. Okay? But so happened, it happened to me. And my close one, which is actually from DAP Cyber Troopers. That's why I'm more harsh against them. But that does not mean that I support Papa Guamo and who, who, whoever, Pakistan National, who are being violent, you see. Mm. But most importantly, Papa, you see, you see, at first I said, I can still accept DAP were to attack me alone. So Papa Guamo aiming at all the politicians because they are all in politics. They have to be in that political battle. This is Malaysia, you know, we have reached this kind of low class of uh, political culture. We're no longer talking about policy, no longer talking about ideas, we're no longer talking about facts. We are going on more emotions, personal attacks, this is what I go in. But even personal attacks, why must they involve until my father, my mother, all my friends, easily 30, 20 to 30 friends, their picture being circulated around? All right? What do you mean by their pictures are being circulated around? All my previous clubbing pic when I, when I was in DAP, those pictures that they collected, right? It's about year 2009, 2010, and 2010, and I was still in DAP. My membership at and it's in DAP at 2011. I still got the, uh, what we call that, uh, evidence. They take all my clubbing pictures. I'm youth. Back then, I'm 23. Even now, 26, I will still continue to club. All right, I, I, don't, I don't see that as a problem. They make it a whole lot of issue that SYA club with so many different type of girls, so many different type of uh, guys. What, what's wrong with that? Then they harm those girls. They call them as a lot of different, different words. They say they're being paid. They say they sleep. You don't accuse. You want you come to me. You don't want people around me. It is very dirty. This is too dirty. And they are all innocent. Do you know how much pressure they have to get from their friends and family? Mm. And they are not in politics. You know, you aim on to aim at Anwar, aim at Anwar. Why you have to aim at Anwar friends, grandfather, grandmother? I mean, it's, it's the same thing. Why do you have to aim at all my friends? Come to me. Don't go to my friends. This is very cheap. Okay? Why, why they have to be so scared of me? I'm not even a candidate. I can announce I'm not a candidate. Even if I am, there are some, you know, there, if, I, if I am, I will say I do not want to contest. Okay, Mr. I'm, Mr. Chen, I'm sorry I have to cut you off there, but uh, we hope those things end for you. But for now, we're out of time. And thank you so much for joining us okay, in sure. Talk. And thank you. Okay, thank you very much.